Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, the goal of the video is to time this Magneto back onto this Alice Chalmers B tractor. We got ourselves a Fairbanks Morse J4 B3 model Magneto. We're going to go ahead and hopefully get this timed onto the machine. I know this has always been a problem for many people to time. So we'll take it by uh, take it by ear and see what happens. Um, but the first step is uh, to get cylinder number one to top dead center. I just took the plug out, shined a light in the hole, and turned the crank until we got the piston all the way up. Now we're going to have to take the cap off this mag and we're going to have to turn it backwards so the opposite way of the impulse coupling until the slot of the inside gear points up. I'll show you more when we get there. So first thing you got to do is you got to take the front, front cap off, two screws, and then the main cap off. And you have to time this inner gear here to 12 o'clock. And you can see there's a red dot right there. And that has to be pointing directly 12 o'clock. And the way you can do that is by turning the Magneto in reverse direction. Like here's normal direction. Oh, that's reverse. Hang on. Here's normal direction. As you can see, you're hitting the impulse, but if you turn in reverse, you can go all the way around. So right there, I would say is pretty close to being 12 o'clock. So now we have to set this on the tractor. All right, so we got the body of the Magneto on the tractor. When it's lined up perfectly at 12 o'clock, it should slide right on, and ours did. So if yours <clears throat> didn't slide right on like ours initially did not you just have to turn your tractor over a 360 degrees because you might be on top dead center exhaust instead of top dead center compression so we're set now on the tractor we're gonna go ahead now and time the cap to 1030 uh, right before number one cylinder hits so we'll show you that now okay guys so I got the cap from the Magneto and we're gonna kind of demonstrate what I was talking about getting it to number one so this is all disconnected right now and if you look on the face of this here's number one this is number one plug so you want to turn the rotor right before you hit number one 1030 position so if you kind of look here number one is right about in here I would you could also put a line here if you want. You want your rotor to be right before you hit. So just like that. So this is set. We're gonna put this on the tractor now. Okay, and then once you guys get your cap on, double check to make sure that your rotor is still facing at 1030 position, right before number one. We're gonna go ahead and put the face on now, the end cap and then check for spark make sure that the magneto is still operating you know like normal so go ahead and slide this on carefully and put our two screws in it okay another thing i'm going to highlight too was when i put this first cap on i didn't just stick it on straight i kind of went up a little bit in and then down to index the uh, two gears together that helps with lining the gears up and making a mesh so we're gonna go ahead now and put our plug wires back on in the firing order that this tractor requires and check for spark all right guys so we got a plug out let's see if we got spark crank you gotta crank it over a few times yep there's one Perfect. So, firing order on this tractor is one, two, four, three. So, 
starting at one, there's one, there's two, there's four, there's three. So we got the right firing order. Now, let's see if the old tractor runs. All right, guys, we're out here. Engine's running perfect now. We, uh, I pulled it just to get it running. I didn't feel like hand cranking anything today. So, a couple problems that some of you guys may end up having are your number one and three cylinders could be swapped, as in you got, you thought you had number one top dead center, but it might have been top dead center exhaust. So, you always have to make sure that you're top dead center number one. If not, then you're 180 out. So, it took us a couple tries to get this thing running right. I didn't have the rotor in the right spot the first time, but she's running now. So, oh yeah. Sounds pretty good. We're gonna take her inside and maybe now I'll try hand starting it. All right guys, so the J4 B3 <clears throat> Magneto is on the engine, timed pretty good. Can usually start this thing now and maybe one, two cranks, if I'm lucky, one crank. But took us a little bit of time, like I was saying. You know, it's not always the first time you can get it. It takes practice. I know it takes us practice. It always is tough to time these things, but this little tutorial I gave you guys should be pretty simple and uh, should help you guys time your magnetos to Alice Chalmers B, could be a C, any, pretty much any tractor with a J4 B3 Magneto. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.